Welcome back to another edition of Eat My Shorts right here in the Rant and Share, smoking a rolled up poor excuse for a lucky strike, sorting out the world's problems, trying to keep my breakfast down. Well, I've had fun with story time today because, to be honest with you, there's not really a whole lot else for me to do. When I was texting Wolf Fang, I showed him what a toker I was, and he'd never seen one before, which scares me because surplus pistols are fucking where it's at, but, you know, he's a good dude. We'll let him have a pass on this one. But we were talking about, you know, the things that Joe does after he's a little inebriated. Like eating shredded cheddar cheese out of a bag and not remember doing it. But when somebody dares get in between Joe drinking away the moments that make up a dull day on the telephone like a scammer, uh, I figured it's, it's some entertaining content for you, the viewer at home, and might give you some inspired ideas. See, for those of you that know me, I'm, I'm a sucker for a good prank, and I hate fucking telemarketers with a passion. We had this guy, Apu, years back. Uh, we called him Apu because of his accent, because he clearly, he's like, I, my name is Paul, and I'm from Cleveland. I was like, no, you, your name is Apu, and you're from Pakistan, you motherfucker, you know. And, and it deteriorated between me and Apu. He would call every morning at, like, 9 o'clock. On the telephone, right? Every morning he'd be, have the same speech about this, that, buying this, do you have Medicare, Medicaid? And, you know, I got tired of hanging up on him after a while. And, well, Joe was playing in the methamphetamine and uh, the purple sparks, the blackberry ones. And, oh, I, I may or may not have got this man mad enough that he started swearing in his native language at me. But that's not the worst of it. I think the most naughty one that I've ever done is this Chinese broad s sent me a text a while back, right? You know, wanting to meet up for cocktails, local singles in the area. It was one of them spam things, right? And she claimed to be Chinese. And, you know, we went back and forth, and I was going out of my way to get on her nerves, and she just seemed, like, completely interested and said... Well, oh, send me picture, big boy. Let's see what you look like. You know, and it, you could tell it wasn't real good English. Like, they were trying to pass it off. And I'm like, hmm. Joe's been in the liquor. Joe's having a bad idea. Joe needs to do something stupid. <coughs> that he's probably going to laugh about in the morning time. So, being the creative young man that I am, I asked, well, how do I know you're a woman? It's like, what you mean? You want a picture of my face? I'm like, no, they can fake that. I want to see your butthole. You get the whole spread in there. Clam, butthole, pubic hair, no pubic hair. Do you have a hairy butthole? And she became rather confused by this. Like, oh, what is butthole? I'm like, you know, the thing you go poop out of. She's like, well, what do you want to see that for? So I want to see if I'm going to lick it or not when we made up for cocktails. Sugar. We <sighs> said, oh, no, we have to see about this. So I'm like, here, I'll show you mine, and then you show me yours. And so I proceeded, you know, half inebriated to send a picture on my phone to a random Chinese scammer of my weenie, my hard weenie. Because when I drink, I get bad ideas, right? <laughs> and this conversation between me and this person went on for days. Oh, get on Telegram. Oh, we talk there. It's too hard on text. I'm like, no, no, ain't gonna do it. Nope. And finally, they just gave up. So I'm pretty sure China has seen my junk, right? And yeah, I know I needed to get the clippers out after it, but you know, it, it served the purpose, right? <sighs> and there's other creative ways to handle telemarketers, right? Uh, a more straightforward way is just tell them, oh, well, you know, uh, do not call list and thank you for calling type of thing. But when that doesn't work and the mood strikes you fancy, like when they call and you're watching a movie on your phone or something and interrupt you, and you've repeatedly hit the fuck off button on them, right? What else can you do? Well, you can answer with yes, right? When they say this, that, and the other, you say yes. You know, and then they ask for your number and it's like, well, yes. You know, and, and you keep going with this for a while. Uh, 
there for a while, I uh, impersonated a drunken minister named Father Jack Hackett on the internet, right? Uh, <laughs> you know, when the telemarketers would call, I'd start swearing at them, you know, in what sounded like Gaelic at the time. You know, drink, fick, arse, gum shite, you know, shit like that. Well, some of these guys have a sense of humor, and they'll keep screwing with you and screwing with you and screwing with you. So have some fun, man. You know, not everything has to be a drag. You know, my dad used to love to listen to those fucking calls, especially when the, the, the Medicare people called, like, wanting to get him on Medicare, knowing full well he was an old man already on Medicare. And so I impersonated his voice and used some very off-color language at them and made a lady cry. Right. And then I pretended, you know, that I was just coming home and I said, Grandpa, what are you doing on the fucking phone and whatnot? And I took the phone away and started just on this tirade. Right. And these people were so confused by this. Like, I swear the one lady had to have hung herself after this. I was bad. I was naughty. But what can you do, man? You, you interrupt me while I'm doing something and you're some scammer butthole. Like, I'm going to treat you like a butthole. Like, I just let my inner cornholio out. You know, butthole, 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 bunghole, bunghole, bunghole. Ah! You know. That's the best way to handle those people. But as always, uh, if you like the video, like the video. And if you don't like scammers, you know, you're on my side here. And uh, I'm going to go heckle the internet some more. And uh, try and chill out and become one with my chair, which isn't working out very well today. But at least I haven't thrown up, so there's that. As always, uh, take care, God bless, and have a wonderful Sunday. And until we meet again, flies can eat my shorts because they're biting me. <laughs>